Hi, we're gonna do some problems from the homework for today, starting with number two. It says when lead nitrate reacts with sodium iodide, sodium nitrate and lead two iodide are formed. There's the balance, or there's the reaction. Part A is to balance it. So we got two nitrates there, so put a two here. It gives you two sodiums, so put a two there. It gives you two iodines, you already have two iodines, and you already have one lead, so you're all set. Part B says, if I start with 25 grams of lead, two nitrate, and 15 grams of sodium iodide, how many grams of sodium nitrate can be formed? So how many grams of this are you making if you start with 25 grams of this and 15 grams of that? So the way that you figure it out is do two three-step problems. Uh, this is lead nitrate. And then it will look like this. You know it's going to be three steps. You might as well just set it up the right way that time. 15 grams of sodium iodide. And then the smaller number is your answer. So let's figure it out. Uh, let's see, the molar mass of lead nitrate goes down there. Lead is 207.2 plus 14 times 2 plus 16 times 6. You get 331.2. And let's see, one lead nitrate gives you two sodium or nitrates. When you want your answer in grams, you might as well figure out the molar mass of NaNO3. That's 23 plus 14 plus 16 times 3. 3 grams total of 85 grams. So the same thing here. Sodium iodide is 126.9 plus 23. 149.9. ratio is that two of them will give you two nitrate, two sodium nitrates, and that molar mass is still 85 grams. So small number is the right answer, so let's see. This one's 25 times 2 times 85 divided by 31.2, and you get 12.83. This one, 15 times 85 divided by 149.9. And I got 8.5. So, so this is how many grams we formed? This is how many grams are formed. The limiting reagent is the one that gives you the smaller of these two answers. So in part C, this is the limiting reagent sodium iodide or limiting reactant. Reactant and reagent are the same thing. How many grams of lead iodide are formed? Well, you can figure that out. This is lead iodide's right here. We know we formed eight and a half grams of this. Now the question is how much of this did we form? You don't have to do it twice though because you know this one runs out first. So just use that 15 grams of sodium iodide and convert it to the lead iodide. So lead to iodide. Molar mass sodium iodide is still 149.9. Uh, it's a two to one ratio. Two NaIs give you one lead iodide, lead to iodide. And the molar mass of lead to iodide is 207.2 plus 126.9 times two. 461, hope so. And then to solve the problem, you take 15 times 461 divided by 149.9. And I got 46 grams of lead to iodide. How much limiting is left over? There's uh, more than one way to do that. Uh, Mr. Peters kind of showed you one. I like doing it, I like subtracting at the end. So take your 15 grams of sodium iodide you started with, the one that runs out first, and just convert it to the excess reactant, which is this one. And that will tell you exactly how much you used. So, 15 grams of sodium iodide, we know that it's 149.9 grams per mole. The mole ratio is two NAIs will give you, or react with one lead nitrate. And the molar mass of lead nitrate is 331.2 grams. So.
so to do the math, take 15 times 331.2 divided by 149.9 divided by 2, and you get 16.57. Uh, that would be grams of lead nitrate used. So now you just, you know that you started with um, 25 grams of it, so you take 25 minus that answer, and you get 8.43 grams left over, or unused. So there is your final answer. Gross. Last one, it says if 6 grams of sodium nitrate are formed in the reaction uh, described in problem 2, what's the percent yield of the reaction? Well, this is your theoretical yield, 8.5. So if you actually form 6 grams to find the percent, you just divide 6 out of 8.5 times 100. And you got about 70.6. Percent yield. That means that you made about 70.6% of what you're supposed to make. So this is kind of all the things that you would need to know for Friday's test, or kind of a summation of all the things that we've done in the last, I don't know, two weeks involving stoichiometry. Let's look at three. Um, same kind of problem. It says if 1,000 grams of sodium chloride are combined with 2,000 grams of barium phosphate, um, you want to know what's the reacting. Well, when they don't specify anything, you can pick which one of these products you can convert to. I'm going to pick this one because it looks easier molar mass wise. I mean, this one's easier. It doesn't really matter. But you can also pick this one too. It's up to you. And we're going to convert the 1,000 grams of NaCl and also the 2,000 grams of barium phosphate. You're going to convert them both to barium chloride. So two three-step problems. Molar mass of sodium chloride is 58 and a half. The mole ratio is that six of them will produce one barium chloride. And the molar mass of barium chloride is Not? Oh, it's not balanced, you're right. I should do that first. Thanks, Mr. Peters. Mr. Peters is just watching me do this problem. That's his afternoon. He's really excited about it. Uh, I forget, why is it six there? It looks like it's balanced. I just skipped part A. I'm stupid. Anyway, so let's see. Uh, six and put two here, I guess. Now it's balanced. Now I'll put a three here. Now it's balanced. Why did they leave all those important things out? Anyway, so 6-NaCl now reacts with to produce 3 BaCl2s, and the molar mass of barium chloride is 208.3. The same thing for the barium phosphate. The molar mass of barium phosphate is high, 137.3 times 3 plus 31 times 2 plus 16 times 8, 601.9, that's right, and that's a 1 BA3PO42 to 3 barium chlorides, and the molar mass of barium chloride is still 208.3. So for the top one, you take 1,000 times 3 times 208.3 divided by 58.5 divided by 6, and I got 178.03. And the other one is 2,000 times 3 times 208.3 divided by 601.9. And I got 2,076, is that right? That seems high. Anyway, so in this case, the smaller numbers are answer. So 178.3, uh, or 0 .03 is the, um, oh, you have an asset. It just says, what's the limiting reactant? So then sodium chloride is the limiting reactant. 
Basically, I don't ask how much do you make, but this is how much you make. That was called a theoretical yield, in case that's asked to you. How much excess is left over? Um, you can take the 1,000 grams NaCl and convert it to the Ba3PO42. So we know that's 58.5 grams mole. It's a 6 to 1 ratio. 6 NaCl's will react with 1 Ba3 2 and the molar mass of that, I hope, is 601.9 grams. I'm going to take 1,000. This is how much you would actually use. So you would use 17, 1,714.8 grams, and you started with 2,000 grams, so you subtract now 2,000 minus that answer. Minus 74.8 equals 285.2 the grams of barium phosphate left over. Should we do one more? Should we do one more? Why not? Um, Chemist burns 160 grams of aluminum oxide to produce aluminum oxide. Write the balance equation. Okay, I put a three there, a two there, and a four there. Determine the theoretical yield. If you take 16, 160 grams of this, excess air, that's that's like what you want to see, because now it means we don't have to worry about that. We've got plenty of air. This is not a two-step problem, it's a simple one-step problem. Take 160 grams of aluminum. We know aluminum is 27 grams in one mole. We're going to convert to aluminum oxide. There's four aluminums for every two aluminum oxides produced. And mole mass of aluminum oxide is 27 times 2 plus 16 times 3. 102. And take 160 times 102 times 2 divided by 27 divided by 4, and I got 302.22. That would be what is known as the theoretical yield, because that's the most we could make. In this case, though, we didn't really make that much. We made 260 grams. So the percent yield is what you really made, 260 grams, divided by what you should have made, which is 302.22 grams times 100. You get about 86.1%. And five is sort of uh, like that as well. Oh, we didn't do five, we did seven. I'm done though. So there's some of the problems from tonight's homework that took 13 minutes of your life. Thanks to Mr. Peters, who helped me make sure that they're right. Thanks to Jessna for this pencil, really appreciate it. Uh, good luck with your homework. Bye!